I think that one of the things that makes uh, a piano trio um, very unusual is that combination of a piano with two string instruments. Each instrument really maintains its own individual sound since it's so different. And at the same time, we work to bring together a certain kind of blending of the sound. The greatest chamber music works were just works of music exist in, in the piano trio repertoire and are great joy to play. I think that we're all very conscious of our role as interpreters, that there's always a relationship between us and the composer and the music. Our repertoire is then very varied because we, we enjoy exploring that relationship through all kinds of music. One of the things that's uh, a lot of fun when we work on new uh, compositions is uh, working directly with the composers themselves. And we've had as a trio wonderful experiences of uh, composers coming to either our rehearsals or recording sessions of the music and contributing as well. So it's almost a quartet working together and I've enjoyed that a lot. There's a certain kind of ebb and flow to the way we work. Sometimes it's very intense and sometimes it's more whimsical. It kind of has a very natural flow to it and I think that's important. Rehearsals are really stimulating because that's the place where creative work actually happens in a chamber group. It's a growth opportunity, it's a learning experience, and it's great fun. Beethoven is a very special composer for all musicians. There's a sense with Beethoven that you can explore it forever. There's always more to find, and I think we're, we're finding that as a trio. Yeah, that's yeah. This repertoire, to record it, is of great value both in terms of making it accessible to people but also for us as well in terms of our experience as musicians. There's always more that can be understood about those pieces. I think of recording as its own unique art. It does provide grounds for a certain kind of creative work that one cannot achieve in live performance. Especially right now, we are recording the complete Beethoven trios. Obviously, in Beethoven's time, there were no recordings. So the kind of work that we do when we are recording is something that Beethoven himself could never have imagined. But that is interesting too, to bring our technology to works that were created uh, 250 years ago. Regarding performance, that's sort of the final piece of, of the puzzle when it comes to developing an interpretation. One finally understands the meaning of the content of the repertoire. I love the fact that in performance we trust each other enough to be creative on stage. We rehearse and we have an idea of what we want to do, but at the same time we are free to create something in the here and now. The performances are sort of, you know, sort of mile markers in a certain sense, uh, arrival points from which then we go on. Thank you.